morning. North American traders, privateer FX is back after a dreadfully dull European session. We're going to take a look and see what's going to happen in this New York session. Not too much going on. A couple things to note. Dollar CAD made a new high, but then tur turned pretty abruptly here. Looks like this dollar CAD on this NAFTA potential NAFTA nonsense uh, is putting the cart before the horse here. Considering the Bank of Canada is probably going to raise next week, we're going to work on some downside dollar CAD positioning. We see this turn bar here last hour, and now we've had a fully lower low on the on the 240s, it really turns uh, bearish through 125.41. So we have some casual shorts in dollar CAD, and we're just looking at downside there. With that in mind, we have this Aussie chart. Nothing really to sink your teeth into except for the fact that we've had a whole series of highs here. 78.85, 86, 87. This guy was up here 78.96. The idea here is if we do get through 79 the figure, this might have a bit of room to run. Back up to 80, 80, 50 maybe. This is definitely not five star. We would have to see uh, the whole commodity complex corresponding for us to get involved in this, but it is something to look out for. Let's just see what the majors have done. Euro has been dead. It's basically been 30, 40, 30, 45 all day. Cable shifted down to 73. Getting closer and closer to this trend line. We're watching it. This might be an opportunity tomorrow during the European morning or tomorrow afternoon when we get inflation data from the United States of America. Kiwi. Same sort of commodity complex deal here. It does not make any sense to me why Kiwi is doing this, but it is. And price never lies, so this is kind of just happily floating, floating higher. Yesterday they jammed the stops above 72 the figure, and then we printed up to 72.30 on the China news. This looks constructive. I'm not sure what the trade is there yet. We're going to focus more on dollar CAD than we are Kiwi, but the whole commodity complex is looking mildly robust. Dollar yen, not doing too much. Interestingly, it went up to 111.87 today. 111.90 was the high on the first knee jerk move on the China news yesterday. So, first thing everyone did was buy dollars because bonds went down. Then all of a sudden everyone realized if this were true, we're going to sell dollars. It looks like dollar yen is still sell on rally, which fits in with our cross yen shorts. Getting harder to stay short cross yen because we've had these three big down days, but we do feel like this can continue. Dollar yen is going to have trouble going up and Euro dollar doesn't really know what to do. So cross yen could easily slip. Um, but we're staying on the core short, trying to improve your average cross yen strategy. Take a look at equities real quick. Not much to say there. We've been sort of 47.54. This is kind of a neutralizing pattern. This turn day. Yesterday it looked like we were going to finally get the bear move, but it did not happen. Now we're right in the middle here. Um, you could probably initiate shorts through 27.36, but again, nothing really to sink your teeth into there. And finally, let's have a look at our pals in the crypto world. A lot of bad news in the crypto world. South Korean exchanges are putting pressure on some of the brokers. Warren Buffett basically saying, I'd love to buy the five-year put. But mind you, he also said, I wouldn't be short. So, this, I'm pretty sure he doesn't know what he's, what's going on on this. Um, 
and I'm sure he's talking about the majority of cryptocurrencies that will go to zero. Bitcoin is not going to be one of those. We still like picking up Bitcoin on the 10,000 handle and then again on the 8,000 handle uh, and we're trading it like sort of a souped up euro dollar kind of a trade. Ethereum same type of strategy we're trying to buy near a thousand and then again near 850 uh, we're gonna should see some more downside pressure in the coming days not a specific trade here but just keep an eye on it be patient wait for the levels and things should come good let's just take a look at this 10-year yield 2.54 percent it's above 250 still but as we said yesterday's bar looks mysteriously like a turn we've now made a lower low on the days on the dailies the big question will be what uh, what will these things do at 250 so we shall see not much to go on we're looking at these ECB minutes mainly the risk is if the minutes show some more of the members were hawkish then the market has been led to believe there will be some euro buying um, jobless claims not too much to see there in general it's a day to keep it light try and scratch a few pennies together but we're not plunging into any big trades at the moment good luck to you out there New York Canada Toronto Montreal and Mexico City have fun make some money I will uh, talk to you guys tomorrow at the European Open ciao